I think burn and scar research is a neglected area of medical research. Um, everyone knows about cancer research and what they're trying to find a cure for cancer. This is really just trying to raise awareness from the seven or eight different burns charities and foundations that work in this area to try and find a solution. The London Fire Brigade are constantly campaigning to reduce the number of burns, most of which are preventable. So last year we had around 225 calls that we were called to. Now that, those varied from uh, minor burns to very severe burns that were life-threatening. In fact, um, even this week we've had someone that was on casualty watch because uh, they'd had burns and they've subsequently died. And this is a good way of drawing attention to the fact that many people get burned and those can be life-changing injuries and largely they're preventable. So it's a good day to actually focus our time and make people think about what they can do to stop burns happening. The most common is for both the very young and the elderly is um, being scalded by hot liquids. Um, after that it's heat, so that could be heat from a cooker or an open fire as well, so that's either fire or gas flames. Restore Research held a school session at the Lloyd Williamson School in West London to educate children about being burn aware. Put your hands up if you've ever burned yourself. Maybe you've touched your plate too soon at the dinner table, run it under hot water, or you let it get sprayed yet. Most victims of burns and scars tend to be the elderly and the very young. And here are some tips from the children on how to be burn aware. There's first degree, second degree and third degree. Third degree is worse because it swells and it's more painful and you have to go to hospital. Not to put any lotion or cream on your burn or scar because it will really hurt. Burn is called a burn because when a hot liquid touches it, it feels like fire. You check the hot bath if it's like hot and watch out for hot drinks and don't play in the kitchen. So a day before my first birthday in 1995, I was burnt in a bath incident which left me with over 30% of my body surface burnt to the third degree. Emotionally, it affected me a lot, especially growing up, going to school, um, meeting new people. That affected me tremendously. Um, you know, having to deal with the stairs on a daily basis and even like the odd comments here and there when I'm walking down the street. For example, um, a man decided to tell me that I had you know, an issue with my leg, which obviously I know, I know that I have an issue with my leg, but he decided to state that in front of the whole town. We focus around the 5th of November, but actually uh, the whole period now is, is fireworks. We've got lots of cultures in London and lots of them celebrate with fireworks, and whether that's a wedding, whether that's a religious festival, whatever. So fireworks are a risk all year round. This time of year, I think the main focus would be look at the firework code, be safe with them. So many young people get burnt and hurt because they're playing with fireworks.